Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one. Let's get to the review. Welcome back film fans, this is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we're going to be talking about the sequel to the original 2017, The Hitman's Bodyguard, called Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. It is once again directed by Patrick Hughes. The film stars Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, Salma Hayek, Morgan Freeman, and Antonio Banderas. I was able to check out an early showtime of this movie last Friday night, and I waited so long to do this review because... I couldn't fathom of how bad this movie was. I took so much time of putting this review together for this dumb, stupid action movie because I just didn't know how to describe this movie. So let's just start with some of the positives that I do have with this movie. And we're going to start with the cast. The actors are the only reason why people would ever pay a ticket to go see this movie. Because the cast is the only thing that's going to make this movie watchable. As Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, Salma Hayek do make a very good tandem and offer some hilarious, mm, okay, maybe not hilarious, fun moments in this movie. Their charisma, their acting, and their charm together do make this movie watchable. And if you are a big fan of that original film you will probably like this movie a lot the other positive i have with this movie is that there is a ton of violence and a ton of blood going around and it did make this movie very entertaining the action scenes on the other hand is a whole other topic with the bloody and gory violence but i do like that it is explosively gory and violent and it didn't make this movie entertaining to watch if you can turn your brain off like everyone else in my theater did and my last positive is there is one hilarious joke in this movie and then maybe one or two more small funny jokes in this movie because everything else is not funny so that's gonna lead right into my negatives starting with the humor deep down i wanted to laugh at these jokes as they are very inappropriate they're crude they swear a lot it was very very funny in its concept but the execution of these jokes fall flat and i think the reason for this is that the cast was mostly ad-libbing the entire time with the jokes as some of them can be funny but most of them just don't work. My second negative with this movie is the terrible screenplay. The story is so bad and so forgettable, I don't even remember what this movie was about. And I don't think anyone watching this movie will remember what this movie's about because it's just about these cast members being inappropriate, being rude to each other, and just having a funny, repetitive gags along the way. Because this movie doesn't excel anywhere with the story as it has bad dialogue, horrendous action scenes. My second negative with this movie is the directing. I found all the shot selections in this movie to be so wonky with terrible editing. You couldn't tell what was even happening in any of these action scenes as some of these frames are just so terrible to look at. As these actors are given nothing to do to excel the performances, the direction here was lifeless, boring, and truly uninspired. My third negative with this movie is that the action scenes just suck. None of them are all that interesting besides having time tons of blood and loads of violence. The editing is so bad that you can't even see what is happening in these action scenes. There's no clever moments that happen between the action. It doesn't feel like they took so much time to prepare cool looking action scenes. My fourth negative with this movie is all the technical aspects. The cinematography is so boring. It is probably one of the worst looking movies of the entire year by a big budget mainstream movie. The music is average at best with just filling the action scenes to move along but it didn't feel like it impacted any part of this movie i probably didn't realize there's music going on the cgi in this movie is so horrendous there is a scene with butterflies on the screen for like seven seconds and i don't know if lionsgate was trying to show off how cool their cgi was but you could have taken that little shot out of the movie it wouldn't have changed a single thing no one would have noticed and it is so bad but it just goes to show how lazy this movie is and all the other cgi moments in this movie freaking suck and my last negative with this movie 
is the characters. Even though I like Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, it doesn't feel like that their characters are on screen and we're just seeing the actors and it just became a parody of itself. The characters have zero character development as they try to shoehorn in these emotional moments that are so stupid and just feel so lazily put in an action sequel. Okay guys, so I have nothing else left to say of this movie as the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard is another boring generic sequel that offers absolutely nothing to the original film as it feels like I wasted my AMC A-list stubs ticket for free to watch this dumb piece of crap movie that if you really enjoyed the first one you'll probably like this one but I cannot recommend this movie just because I will never watch this piece of shit again i am giving hitman's wife's bodyguard a three out of ten don't forget to hit that subscribe button drop a like if you want to and ring that notification bell so you never get to miss a new video as always i will see you all in the following review